Hey guys, today we're going to be reading the discovery of anime and manga. Okay, let's get started. I know I'm reading a lot of the books from these days, but okay. I'm going to read this whole series. So this is probably going to be a three book video if I can do that. So let's get into it. Oh, okay. And I'll just let you read this. Ethan and Emma saw a colourful crowd headed to a convention centre. It's fun, said Ethan. Let's go check it out, suggested Emma. Once inside, they could hardly believe their eyes. Asian comic books featured a rainbow of characters. I want to write stories like these, said Emma. Fantastic cartoons. Played with sensational action. I want to draw these, shouted Ethan. I can show you, said a kind voice. It was Dale Yu, the special red panda, had taught them about ramen and fireworks. The Japanese word for comics is manga, animation is anime, he explained. Do you want to know how they are created? Sure, they replied. The history of Japan's most popular culture changed of how Japan's most popular culture changed the world is amazing, said Deo banging his small gong. He should transport them to a distant place in time. So let's go Welcome to the twelfth century, announced Deo. In the old capital Nara Buddhists practice e-toki, or telling a story from a scroll. It's like a cartoon, observed Emma. Smaller scenes in the painting combine to la tell a larger tale. Zoom. They appeared in 1840 in Tokyo. Manga means playful drawings, read Emma. That's what these are, said Ethan. Kusai was a famous painter, Deo said. Prints of his art bound into books that became bestsellers. They zipped to Oscar in 1935, Deo explained. Travelling stories... Tellers called Kamishabi by large pictures in a, displayed in a wooden box. I see," said Ethan. When a performer show, when a performer shows another illustration of the the audience, here's the rest of the story. You read manga from left, from right to left. Then top to bottom. However, Osamu Tezuka and his friends loved reading comics in newspapers. Whoa, going backwards takes practice. They whisked ahead to 1945. They whispered. However, during World War Two, the government rationed paper, banned the manga, and hired artists to make posters and cartoons that supported their empire. After the war, like many nations, Japan had to rebuild Tadeo. The U.S. occupied Japan until 1952, and American culture was very influential. Osamu Tezuka decided to be a doctor but became an artist. To 
Tezuka serializes comic stri strips many in many monthly magazines at the same time he was so busy that he started his own studio manager handled his business while many while many assistants finished his drawings detail he called himself the god of manga dezuka loved seeing and producing films he created a robot boy, a white lion cub, a mysterious doctor, and many more in his lifetime. He drew 150,000 pages and 60 anime. Zap! The trio were in the 1960s. Now everyone wanted to watch TV. Said Deo, anime was more than superheroes. One of the first anime broadcasts in the US Tetsujin 28 is a gigantic robot controlled by a boy. Speed Racer is an 18 year old who wants to be the best pro race car driver, said Emma. Doraemon is a robot cat from the future who plays with kids like us, said Ethan. Satisfied growing demand, Japanese publishers supplied weekly magazines. Stories told millions of copies. Editors explored more categories and topics to interest every reader. Publishers targeted titles for males and females of all ages. Commuters read thick manga on the subway. Seinen for men, Zose for women, Shonen for boys, Sojo for girls. There was even one for little children, Kodomomkiuk. In the 1970s, the science fiction genre of Metra featured giant machines, the teenager Koji, Pilots a 60 foot tall Mazinga to protect the earth. Gatchaman's five heroes drive vehicles that unite into a superplane. Metra battled on other planets. Space War battleship Piyamato recast. Japan's grandest World War II ship into 2,199. Boosted by popular toys, Gundam has spacecraft transformation into huge armoured samurais. They leapt into the 1980s. Women were creators too, said Ethan. Romiko Takashan spun funny stories about girls with relationships with boys, said Emma. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball showed epic battles of mythic warriors. Other futuristic manga like Akari, I mean, no. Akiri and the Ghost in the Shell became anime, translated into foreign languages. These had thrilling and explosive adventure. What adventures were unlike anything most Westerners had seen and made them want more. By 1989, ended an era as both Japan's Emperor and Osemu Tezuka died, but by then Heo Hiyazaki started a new one. His company, Studio Ghibli, pronounced a string of celebrated animated movies like My Neighbor Toronto.
exploring how people coexist with nature. His tales paint extraordinary lands in bold watercolours. Box office champs in Japan. They won awards worldwide and Miyazaki was called the Walt Disney of Japan. In the 1990s, other stories gained fans around the world. In Sailor Moon, teenage girls used magical powers as earth protectors. Cute characters, coloured hair, point pointed chins and big eyes symbolised the manga style. Originally a handheld game, Pokemon jumped into trading cards, television and then comics, Marvel Deo. Soon, hun- Soon hundreds of creatures were found on books, home video, movies, dolls, merchandise and clothing. 40% of Japan's print sales were manga, Sadeo, and tan korbon was the handiest way to buy and read. Emma said every Japanese spent an average of fifty dollars a year. Ethan said that's a super fan and Otaku. Who's that? Who's that? Asked Emma, noticing a shy girl scribbling in a a sketchbook. Hmm, I don't know. Not yet, anyway, answered Deo. She has... Dodging she fan fiction stories she has made all by herself. Manga and anime can be about anything, noted Emma. Pirates, ninjas, and kittens. Cat fangs, sweat drops, speed lines, sparks, and hearts and eyes show how a character feels. These are cool emoji jokes in turn. Whoosh! They return to the 21st century. Anime music is so catchy, sighed Emma. Others admire the art, smiled Ethan. They toured museums about creators, studios, and comics. Now, Japanese cre- creations influence artists and entertainment all over the globe. They were back in Tokyo, where stores overflowed with stories and street fans, and streets with fans. Today, we can enjoy manga wherever we are, said Emma. Anime stream on the internet to TVs, computers and phones, said Ethan. We've come a long way, concluded Emma. But it all starts with a good idea and elbow grease said Ethan. Oops, that reminds me. It's time to go back. He hit his gong. Gone. In a puff of magical smoke, they were back at the Comic Con as the kids sorted their snazzy souvenirs. Curious cosplayers gathered round Was learning about anime and manga fun? Asked Deo. You bet. Ethan and Emma were inspired. We're going to write and draw our own cartoons. With a wiggle of his ear and a graphic novel in his paws. Deo laughed. I can't wait to read and watch them. 
Okay, yes, I know I said this was going to be three books, but I don't really have time. Sorry. I mean, like, it's bedtime, even if it is morning for you, okay? 